New at five. Want to get away for a weekend, but not sure where to go? There's a new Pittsburgh company that wants to surprise you. Here's how it works: you tell them what you like and how much money you want to spend, and then they come up with a trip for you. Thing is, again, you don't know where you're going to go until the day you leave. David Highfield often checks out travel deals for us. He's here now with this interesting new twist, David. Yeah, Ken and Christine, what's cool about this is the surprise. I mean, if you're up for an adventure, this could be for you. In fact, I asked them to map out a vacation for me, and in a moment, we're going to open this envelope and see what they planned for me based on what I told them. Wouldn't it be nice to get away for a long weekend? Maybe explore New Orleans or D.C. or some other cool destination. Lillian Rafson started a business in Lawrenceville that can make that happen with a twist. Pack Up and Go is a, a surprise travel agency. So we plan three-day weekend trips around the United States, but your destination is a surprise until the day you depart. That's right. You don't know where you're going until the day you leave. She got the idea from surprise travel agencies in Europe. We're basically just trying to provide an easy, fun, stress-free vacation with that added element of spontaneity and excitement. It's that spontaneity Sarah Noel and James Kuntz III of Highland Park were looking for. A lot of anticipation. <laughs> they say the surprise is half the fun. It doesn't matter what the destination is because it's like you're built up in the excitement of whatever it is is so good that you're like oh Boston all right they've gone on two trips pack up and go selected for them one to Boston and also a driving trip to Annapolis Maryland and I don't know much about Annapolis at all so like when we pulled it out it was suddenly like oh we would never thought to go to Annapolis for the weekend. Yet they had a blast. Pack up and go mapped out their trip, gave them sites to check out, restaurant suggestions, and booked their hotel for them. When you sign up, you fill out a survey. What were the last three to five trips you took? They ask you where you've been recently so they don't send you back. So let's see, I was in Niagara Falls. They also ask about what you want from the trip, action or relaxation. That survey tells us your travel dates, where you've gone recently, if you have any upcoming trips, and generally what you like in a vacation. So you can tell us, I love craft beer and art museums. You can choose to drive somewhere. They'll pick a spot that's only three to four hours away. That begins at $400 if you're traveling with someone else and includes your hotel and recommendations of what to see. For $650 a person and up, you can choose to travel by plane, train, or bus, and that includes accommodations and travel. The idea is just that travelers don't spend hours planning their vacation. We want it to be the easiest vacation you'll ever plan. I filled out the survey, and soon we'll see what they've chosen for me. One week before your trip, we do send you the weather forecast so you know how to pack. And other useful info. You're going to do a lot of walking, so like, kind of think about that when you're packing. Then, a few days before you leave, you get the envelope you're not supposed to open until the day of the trip. And that envelope has your grand reveal, so it'll say, you're going to Nashville or you're going to Seattle. It's pretty exciting yeah. to pull it out. They like make it worthy of a reveal. Rafson started her business last year and... So far, it's been overwhelmingly positive. You've done it twice. Will you mm -hmm. do it a third time? Yeah, I think oh, we would yeah. do it again. Okay, now is the big moment. I'm and excited. Let's open all, it up. This isn't even a real trip, but I'm excited. Well, too. it could like, be. I'm not actually going. <laughs> on it's based this on trip. your real parameters. It's true. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. I feel like I need a drum roll, Ken Rice. What okay. if it? Well, I mean, <laughs> would, you, would you go on it if it's someplace fantastic? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. No. It says <laughs> warning. No peeking. <laughs> is what it's saying. Uh, you're going to Savannah, Georgia. Oh, Very that's nice. a good place. I, think, I nice. would think I would like to go to Savannah, Georgia. And yeah. you know what? I've been to Charleston, but never Savannah. And I've heard good things. You look excited. Yeah. And so they give you a look at this. They give you a map. They give you a guide. They, they have everything mapped out Fun for you. to do. Yeah, oh, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, that looks yeah. so cool. Okay, so she just started this business last year. I mean, who are the customers for this? You know, she thought initially it was going to be people in their 20s, you know, uh -huh. younger, maybe more adventurous. She says it's a wide variety. She sees mother daughters, she sees empty nesters, and they have plotted more than 850 trips at this what point. What a cool idea. I love it. And who knows? Maybe I'll go to Savannah. You should. All right. We all should. Thanks. If this